It's really 오래간만이지. Ore what? What does that mean? 오래간만이지 means it's been a long time. Basically, 오랜만이야 is fine as well. Long time no see, huh? 오래간만이지, huh? 오래간만이지, huh? Ah, you're right then, Soyeon. 오랜만이야. Finally, today is the first day of the new season of Annyeong Korean. Yeah. Shall we get started afresh now? I'm young Korean! Answer the questions I ask in Korean only, okay? 네. Name. Peter. Not 반말. You have to answer in 존댓말. Age. 38살. A Jungkook 오빠? Too much age gap. Job. Huxing. But but just why are you being like this to me? You really don't know what you did wrong, right? Two out of a possible hundred in your last Korean test. What is this? Two. I, I was really bad, bad boy. I, I promise I will study Korean really hard. Today, we're going to learn how to introduce myself. Actually, we learned a little bit of that in our last episode. Do you remember? 이름이 뭐예요? 이름 means name, and what's your name is 이름이 뭐예요? Yeah, yeah, I remember. If you ask 이름이 뭐예요, you just reply with your name. 이름이 뭐예요? 뭐예요? That's right. You remember it very well. 뭐예요? Pronunciation is a little difficult. Ah, uh, it's a little tricky because there are multiple vowels combined. Take a look here. Mo, as you can see here, is made up of m, u, and all combined together. Like this. Mu, o, wo. And when said quickly, it is complete like this. Mo, mo, right? Very well done. Ye, you. You can think of this as yeo said quickly. Yeo, yeo. Yeo, yeo. Oh, done like that. It does make it easy. Now let's listen to the Korean expert KBS broadcasters. Mo, yeo. Mo yeo, mo yeo. Mo, yeo. Mo yeo, mo yeo. Now I think I'll be able to pronounce it perfectly. Thank you, Soyeon. Kwasumida, Soyeon. Mega teja naga. Then continuing on, this moeyo can be used to ask many things. In the space where Irim went, you can use other words instead. Aha. Listen carefully to Four Minutes Song and listen what they're asking. Chonabono? Chonabono? I can't make it out clearly. Chonabono. They are asking for your phone number. Chonabono moeo. So before we said irumi moeo, so this must be chonabono i moeo, right? I didn't tell you this. When you ask what is this in Korean, you either ask Mm-mm-i moeyo or mm-mm-ka moeyo. Like kimbap, kimbap has a bottom consonant. So you say kimbabi moeyo, but kimchi doesn't have a bottom consonant. So you ask kimchi ka moeyo. Other words? In Korean, you say chiga for job. Then, what goes in the box? 직업이 
뭐예요? 녹화. That's right. You got it. It's not so difficult, right? Shall we do another one? The Korean word for address is 주소. So when you ask someone what their 주소 is, 주소가 뭐예요? 너 이 어요. This is fun. Great. Now let's practice with the Korean expert broadcaster's pronunciation. 직업이 뭐예요? 주소가 뭐예요? 이름이 뭐예요? 전화번호가 뭐예요? So how do you answer these questions to introduce yourself? Ah, it's very easy. Like this here, after the answer word, only 입니다 has to be added. Ah, 입니다. 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 한국 언니 문소연 입니다. Oh yeah, 영국 오빠. Peter, Imnida. That's right. For example, if you ask 이름이 뭐예요? Since my name is Soyeon, 여러로 Soyeon Imnida is how I can answer. Ah, then Peter Imnida, DiCaprio Imnida, Song Joong Ki Imnida, like this, right? Yes, great job. Then, let's practice with the most common questions. There are some words here, and they mean student, teacher, doctor, and singer. Using these words, try to answer my question. Okay. Peter, 직업이 뭐예요? Uh, well, because I'm uh, a student learning Korean, 학생입니다. Peter, you're a fast learner. Right then, one more. When we are introducing ourselves, we don't usually just say our name. Mm. We often introduce our nationality and job together. Oh yeah, that's right. Me too. 영국 오빠 피터입니다 is what I say. That's right. You can introduce your name and job and nationality all together and finish off with 입니다. 의료팀 경호업무를 맡은 모호르 중대 중대장 유시이진 대입니다. 유시이진 대입니다. The character said, "I am Captain Yushijin." You can introduce yourself just like that as well. Ah, I see. So then you could introduce yourself all at once. For example, if someone asks your name, 이름이 뭐예요? Since I'm Korean, I could add 한국 사람. 한국 사람 소현입니다. 영국 사람 피터입니다. Mm-hmm. Another example, if you're an American singer, since America is 미국, 미국 means American, so it'd be 미국 가수. 미국 가수 마이클입니다. I guess that's how you'd say it, right? Right. You can put your job, nationality, anything to identify yourself. 방탄소년단 슈가입니다. 네, 지비님. 네, 안녕하세요. 방탄소년단 지민입니다. It sounds much more impressive. That's true, Peter. Now, let's take a look at the pronunciation of Korean expert KBS broadcasters. KBS 아나운서 정지원입니다. KBS 아나운서 이재성입니다. 안녕, Korean! <웃음> 직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관직관
That's right. We don't use them in formal situations, though. But if you don't know the meaning of them, then it might be a little inconvenient or difficult when you listen to K-pop music or Korean dramas. Please teach me simply, okay? Okay then. First, 직관. 현재를 써 라이브 절. 촬영하면서 단한 번도 감독님 편지를 써를 직관하고 싶다라는 생각은 처음이거든요 지금. 직관하고 싶다라는 생각은 처음이거든요 지금. This comes from 직접 관람, something that you can see with your very own eyes. Oh, I see. 직접 관람, 직관. You are a genius, Peter. Then, why don't we ask our intelligent AI speaker what 멘붕 means? Hey, sorry. Uh, what is 멘붕? 멘붕이 뭐예요? 멘붕은 멘탈 붕괴의 줄임말입니다. Huh? That, that's it? And you call yourself intelligent? Oh, can you tell me what 멘붕 means in detail? Mental 붕괴 is from an English word mental, mental, and 붕괴 is a Korean word for collapse. So it's a shortened form of mental 붕괴. I was membung when the AI speaker didn't mm -hmm. explain it properly. Right. This word membung we use them often as slang words, so it will be really helpful when you know this word. Finally, this one seems difficult. Hyunta. Right. Hyunta is a word that comes from 현실, reality, 자가, self-awareness, and time, time. Six syllables shortened. What? Okay, I really need to study Korean much more and a lot of effort as well. Hanta has come to me. Right! This again is a really fun word, so it will be helpful if you know what this means. You kind of know at least the headlines with Chikwan and Menbung and Hanta. Chikwan, Menbung, Hanta. Jemin and What was happening? I'm going to ask you once again. Mm. Name? Peter. Mm. Job? Korean learning. Hmm. You see that frame over there? Read it. 지켜보고 있다. 지켜보고 있다? What does that mean? It means that I am watching you all the time. If you get bad grades in Korean once again, you'll be here again. Oh, um, I will try my best. Now you know how to properly introduce yourself in Korean, right? 나는 한국어를 사랑하는 학생 피터입니다. Ooh, that wow. was really good. <laughs> All right then. See you again next time with another fun and easy Korean. I am Korean! What is it? 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 What is it?